Hi guys, to catch you up to date on the power saw contest, photo contest, we had one um, entry and one winner. <laughs> uh, Colette was the winner. Um, so I'm going to put a picture up here of the prize. So here's the prize for the uh, power saw photo contest of stuffed animal. I've got uh, two zipper pulls here with uh, adjustable beads. You can slide the beads up and down to tighten it up. So those are two, let's see if we can get these in here, two zipper pulls. Then I've got a keychain here. This keychain is called, well, the, the knot is a snake knot, two colors. And then this one here is a cobra weave uh, key as a prize. This is going out to Colette as the prize for the Power Saw photo animal, stuffed animal photo contest. Thanks, Colette, for uh, ending in that photo. It's not much, but it's a token of uh, Power Saw's appreciation for uh, joining the Power Saw Club and, and winning the prize and sending in your, your photo. Um, so, I'll have to get a hold of uh, Colette and we'll see what we, we can do here. Uh, it's just Today's video is just a mishmash of everything. And uh, once again, it was to uh, say congratulations to Colette for the win on the... Uh, prize for the uh, power saw contest sending in a photo and this is Gus in a bus yeah, you just want me to say something? sure well, why did you get started in van life and how well I just decided uh, sitting in an apartment that was a little about my apartment is literally about 10 times as big as a coffin maybe 20 times as big as a coffin but um, <laughs> I couldn't do much in it but lie in bed and sit at a computer and then I started seeing people traveling around in vehicles and then I went, well, I'm going to have to save up some money. I haven't even, I didn't even drive for 20 years because I couldn't afford a car for about 20 years. My income wasn't high enough uh, or secure enough for me to be buying a vehicle and driving. So I basically saved up the money, got my driver's license. At 67, I got my driver's license back again and bought um, a bus and started to live in it. Now, I wasn't even sure I was going to live in it. I just knew I was going to be driving around and traveling in it. But the first night I spent one night on my bus, I realized that it was more fun and more comfortable sleeping in my bus than it was in my apartment. So I gave my notice, and now I'm full-time nomad, driving up and down the West Coast, enjoying all the beaches and all the pretty scenes I can find. Right on. How long have you been doing that? For two years now. Two years. Wow. Yeah, so I've been down the uh, West Coast... Uh, Oregon and California done done that both winters and this winter I went to Arizona and met up with 10,000 other uh, van dwellers or motorhomers or RVers uh, that or they call themselves nomads we were met up with 10,000 of us in the Arizona desert at a thing called the rubber tramp rendezvous oh you've been there okay yeah it was really awesome really fun right yeah the lights great here too yeah, the sunlight. I have to close my eye because of, I have to, because of the sun. <laughs> Hi. Are you Gus? This is, no, he's in the red jacket over there. Oh, yes. I'm just taking a video uh, of the outside of his van truck uh, here. See. That's his here. Where's Gus? Oh, there's Gus. Oh, there's Gus. This is uh, Gus in the bus. It's his unit here actual school bus. Hi.
So once again, guys, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you guys all on the next one. And stay awesome, guys.